this is just going to be the visual representation representation following our PowerPoint on the rainforest, tropical dry forest, and the coral reef. Now the rainforest looks significantly different from the tropical dry forest because obviously this one's dry, this one has more rain. Um, it's usually located in towards the equator and is that a polar bear in the rainforest eating what is that? I don't know. Um, yeah, located towards the equator, um, covers like 7% of the Earth's uh, surface, and uh, yeah, this is just some pictures of what the rainforest would look like. Um, much diversity, as you can see, wherever that picture went, yeah, tiger, um, tree frog, um, yeah, just, you get the point, uh, yeah, rainforest, so, yippee, uh, okay, tropical dry forest, um, this is where it's usually located, uh, African plains, India, Mexico, South America, um, uh, the species here can usually be much larger than the rainforest because, um, there's a little more room, and, uh, tend to adapt well to their environment, as we said in our PowerPoint. But uh, here's some examples of the tropical dry forest. Um, looks a little more green compared to the rainforest. Yeah. So that's that. And um, on to the coral reef, finally. Um, it's... I. Believe it's made from uh, coral animals over a long period of time. Um, sorry for pausing there. I had to think about that. Um, usually in shallow areas, less than 150 feet, I'd say. Um, yeah, I'm just saying stuff from my PowerPoint. Sorry. Um, just images of what coral reef would, reef would look like. I think the most famous would be the Great Barrier Reef. Um, it's home to many different species. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Um, it's a coral reef for you. Don't know what else to say. Sorry if this is boring, but if it'll get me points, then I'll go with it.